Okay, what we're going to do here is demonstrate how to actually create um, a sticker or we're going to demonstrate some skills with Illustrator. Uh, so we're going to learn how to create a sticker similar to what you see here uh, on the back of my laptop. Uh, so this is a photo that I've taken of the back of my laptop and you can see I've got a um, sticker here stuck that was cut out of vinyl using our vinyl cutter and so our aim today is to be able to do that as well. Uh, now if you're a William Carey student then that means you have access to the vinyl cutter that we own and you'll also have access to the laser cutter that we own and so that means you'd be able to use these skills to be able to create stickers using the vinyl cutter or you can also use the laser cutter to create objects. <coughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so if you open up Adobe Illustrator and get to the new dialog box, uh, so depending on the version that you've got, it might look a little bit different. Normally, if you just go to File, New, something very similar to this will open up. Uh, you can see across the top there's a whole lot of presets. Uh, the presets we're going to use today are over in Art and Illustration. Now, what we're looking for, as um, our laser cutter only will take RGB colors, and so what we need to do is make sure we're choosing a document type that uses RGB. Now today, we're not actually using the laser cutter, we're going to use the vinyl cutter. So today it's less important because all the vinyl cutter cares about are the lines that you create. Uh, but it's a good habit to get into. Uh, often students will create a CYMK document uh, based on the CYMK colour mode and then they'll take it across to our laser cutter and try to create but it won't actually work because they've chosen the wrong cut mode. So it's a good habit to get into just to use RGB uh, for all of our machines here at William Carey. Uh, if you are actually wanting to create something that you're going to send to an external printer, uh, then you will need to use the print presets and you can see there CMYK. So CMYK is normally better if you're actually going to print, send it out to a professional printer. You'll end up with uh, closer colours to what you see on the screen as to what you actually get printed out. But for most of our equipment here at William Carey, jump across to Art and, Art and Illustration and then what we want to do is choose an A4 page size. So if you view all presets, choose A4 and today I'm going to go with Landscape. The other setting in here to change, you'll see at the moment it's measuring in points. What we want to do is change that to millimetres uh, so that we can actually compare it to a ruler or, or something similar and actually see the size of our product. Because we want to create a sticker, we don't want to end up having it uh, being created and end up being three meters tall, being really high, huge. So if you show your measurements in millimeters, then that will make it easier for you to go, oh yeah, that will fit on the back of my laptop or check, things like that. So change your unit, change your page size to A4, change your units to millimeters. I'm going to go with landscape and you need to make sure you've got RGB color. And then say create. And you should end up with something very similar to this. Uh, you can see we've got our page layout. Uh, over here on the left, you've got some tools that you can select from. Over here on the right, we've got properties of the currently selected tool. So you can see I've currently got the shape tool or the rectangle tool selected. And so over here on the right are the properties of my rectangle. So if I draw a simple shape, you can see it's got my X and Y coordinates, my width and my height. The fill color is currently white and the stroke color is currently black. And there's my rectangle. And if I want to change something about that rectangle, then I can simply click on the stroke color. That's the line color. And you'll see that that then changes the line color. And if I click off that, you can see there's my rectangle. It's got a red line, a white fill, and it's in those positions. You can edit the stroke size over here as well and you can also edit these properties directly. So if you actually wanted it to be a 70, a 7 centimeter square then all you do is you change that manually to 70 by 70 and you'd see I'd get my shape there being 70 by 70. Okay, now we want to uh, trace an image that we're going to find off the internet. Uh, so if you open up a browser and then we're going to do a Google search. Now I'm just going to trace a car. So I'm just searching for the word car and I'm going to go to my Google images and you'll see all these photos of cars open up. 
Now these are a problem when we trace it. Okay, if I jump back to my photo, you can see that this is a simple black. It's not printing color. We want something that we can trace and cut using the Illustrator. So over here in Google Images, what I'd like you to do is actually go to the tools and you can see here that you can change the search slightly. Uh, so if you go to color, let's just change it to black and white color and so that's going to make some more appropriate choices and then if you go across to type you can actually say I want clip art and what that will do is make them even more better choices for us to actually cut so you can see something like this is going to cut out of vinyl very nicely and that would stick as a sticker quite nicely on the back of your um, laptop or on your tablet or on the back of your phone, whatever you would like to stick it on. Something like this is going to be a little bit more complex. You can see there's still shades of grey in here and there's shades of red. If we cut this out of a sticker, it's not colouring anything in and so the red wouldn't appear and the greys wouldn't appear. It would just look like big black blocks because we're going to cut it out of a piece of black acrylic. So you need to select your image based on the outline. Okay, something like this for example, you're not going to get a grey windscreen or grey wheels um, out of a single black sticker because it's not creating colour. It would just trace the shape of this sticker and you'd end up with a black outline shape. Okay, so I'm going to go with this cool, art, cool car clip art and you can visit the page to you can see sometimes you'll get extra options. You can just simply right click on that and you need to make sure you copy the image. Then come back to Illustrator and paste the image in. Uh, you'll see that it can paste simply like that. And then once you've pasted the image in, what we want to do is come over here to the right hand side. You'll see I've still got the image selected and we're going to use the image trace option. So if you push image trace, you'll see it opens up and says what type of image is this that I'm tracing. If you choose black and white logo then it, it'll do a pretty good job of this image. So let's choose black and white logo and you can see what it does is it's traced that and it's actually sharpened it up a bit. And so it's now created a copy of that original image but it's now traced it into a vector, art, uh, vector graphic. We're now going to expand that so that's going to break it apart into separate components. So you can see now it's actually broken that into um, it's expanded the image and then we're going to ungroup so there's three steps you've traced it expanded it and now we're going to ungroup and ungroup is going to mean each of those components now become separate parts and so if I look in my layers palette up here you'll see that it's got each of the different parts of my image here broken down now some of these parts we don't want to cut, so you can see if I click off the image and then I click back on just the outside white section, you can see it's chosen this white section and that white section we don't want to cut that, so you can see if I pick that up and move it, all it is is the outline of the car, so I'm going to grab that and I'm going to delete it. All of these interior white sections we can get rid of because we just want the black remaining. Now the easy way to do this you can see I'm clicking on the individual white components through the car and deleting them, is actually if you come over here to the right hand side and opens up the layers palettes, you can see I can select the components that white, so when I choose that top path and I click on the little selection tool over here on the right hand side, or the selection button over here on the right hand side, you'll see it chooses that white one and I don't want that part to be cut out because I'm going to just, I want to keep the black ones, otherwise, uh, sorry, yeah, I'm just going to keep the black components. So I'm going to select that and delete it. If I select this, you can see that's the outside black section, so I'm going to keep that, and then I find all of the white parts, and I simply delete them, so I'm left with nothing but the black parts of my sticker. And what's that going to be? Let's pick that up and move it. Okay, that's the outside of the car, so we'll put that back, I want that there. Okay, so there's my sticker now created. Now you can see at the moment I haven't actually got any lines to cut. So now I've got just the black parts left, just the um, those shaded parts left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to properties and you'll see at the moment the fill is black and the stroke is nothing, so that little red slash means nothing. So I'm clicking on the stroke button and I'm going to say I want that to become black and I'm going to click on the fill 
and I want that to become none. And so that way I've now got the lines that my vinyl cutter is going to cut for my stickers. So remember we don't want it to look coloured in, we want to give the vinyl cutter a whole lot of lines for it to trace. An easy way to see the lines is to press Control y on your keyboard and what that does is get rid of all the fill, all the line styles and just show you the lines that it's actually going to cut. So Control y will flick back. Now at this stage if I was actually going to cut this on the laser cutter I'd have to make some selections about colours because on the laser cutter the red lines are cut by the laser. So if I change this to RGB red and anything that is blue would become engraved by the laser. And so you'd see if I cut this outside red line here then that would actually, ah oh, that would have been a great one to cut if I could cut that outside line. Um, that red line on the outside would be cut and fall out as a separate component whereas if I make things blue then it's going to be engraved by the laser cutter. We're going to use the vinyl cutter today so we don't want to actually have any stroke that is red, we're just going to make it all black. Once you've got to that point what we're going to do is get you to save that into a common folder. Your teacher will take it across to the vinyl cutter for you and show you how that works as well. A couple of notes just on the actual cutting when you save. So if you come up to file and you choose to save as, when you choose, let's just put this one on my desktop, so I'm going to call it car demo, you'll see that a little pop-up appears asking me what version of the illustrator we want to cut. Now the vinyl cutter we have is just a dumb cutter. All it wants is just lines and so if we leave it as an a illustrator CC, uh, that won't be able to be imported into our Cut Studio program. So what I'm going to get you to do is actually drop it all the way back to Illustrator 8 and that's going to make it just a very simple drawing, a simple um, thing for the vinyl cutter to cut and then if you say OK and save it then that's going to save that in the old version of Illustrator rather than in the new version with all the extra um, layers and features and things that are currently available in Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, so save that back as Illustrator version 8 and put that in a common folder that your teacher tells you so that we can then cut those out for you on the vinyl cutter.